in Manila City, five days away from the start of our postseason. Then if uh, Christian Palma can turn in a good performance, Jimenez, the leader in steals of the FPBL, gets one here and finishes with two to open up festivities. Next, uh, the Philippines was a key player in the juniors division for UPIS and then Uno moved on over to play for UP's Team B. Kit Jimenez was 6 out of 15 from the field in their last game against Pasig City as Ken Osikos. Stepping up, it's also a chance for other teams to see their talents as well. There's another steal by Kit Jimenez and another deuce. Jimenez. Will miss. Up ahead, Sarangani. Jimenez leaves it. John John Gabriel will get two points. Yes, yeah, Sarangani very brutal on offense, almost blitzing each screen for Mindoro. But Mindoro and Palma gets the rebound here. He will pull up and he will knock it down. The buddy Kit Jimenez here. That's the first two points of the game and the first three pointer para kay Matt Santiago. Looks like he's ready to play here. Yes, he is. A player para sa kanilang kupunan. Here's another turnover and Kit Jimenez will break away yet again for two points. Too many costly turnovers for Mindoro there. Inbound, Santiago free for three once again and he drains it. Set. Two three pointers in one free throw. Para too strong. Sistoza gets the rebound. Gumaru sees Gabriel up ahead and he will finish over the much shorter Christian Palma. Ang replay. Don John Gabriel. He will not be denied. That's another go ahead pass and a finish once again on the break. Bound out of contention for the playoffs due to that loss against Makati Manila Kingpin in Pampanga last Saturday. Who are actually really streaky shooters being teammates with them. If you leave them open, they're gonna make that shot, Javi. Same as that guy, Ken Osikos, who is perfect from the field. Palma misses badly. Reggie Boy Basibas, first appearance and first bucket out of the University of Santo Tomas. Take Santos to the flushing, flashing Ken Osikos, who gets Gabriel gets the offensive rebound. That's easy pickings para sa big man. Almost a steal by Gumaru. The kick out. Right corner. Drake Santos, the high looper, is good. Running back and forth. And here's a pressure by Espiritu. Could not get the steal against Gumaru. Donald, another three-pointer on the way. Yun nga sinasabi natin, Javi. Siguro, malaki nga talaga yung butas ng ring dito sa Paco Arena. It's one of the brightest talents to come out of that area. Engineer by day, MPBL player by night. Oh, na pakaangas ng mga ganon. You see, these people have these people have day jobs, and at night, they're badass players on the court. And he will not miss seven out of seven, fourteen points. It's amazing how players can be able to perform at a high level when they have a day job as Kit Jimenez drains it from downtown for period. Santarana off the curl. Tough shot against AZ Marquez. Marilao offensive rebound. The hoop and the hit. Para kay Dani Marilao. Yes, Sarangani front line. Very active. Marquez. Santos blocked this time by Santa Ana. That's going to be a foul given up. Good defense. And really fast break points. That's how can uh, that's how they can get easy baskets. But the Ande only had seven. Oh, nga, sobrang hirap. Actually, that's really difficult for teams like six seconds. Gets the step. Play honest defense and make sure he doesn't score. Instead, he gives two chances for a point by Espir. Doro is five out of seven at the line in this game. Now five out of eight. But he can put the basket in the bucket. Jimenez tries to beat the buzzer. Uh, that's short. Apparently he's not playing 100% but uh, I'd, like, I'd like to believe otherwise. Let's uh, We'll see you back for the second quarter. 50 plus points per game but they're giving up almost 94 points per match. Step back three. Kit Jimenez. That's good. First quarter field goal story on your screens. 41%. Osanga is making his first appearance in this game. 
Jimenez, the pass. Santa Ana will score the hoop and the hit para kay Jordan Santa Ana. Season on a high note. Pinaalala niya sa kanila as their season comes so close to be grateful. Before going into the game, he actually gave a player along the way, but you guys still pushed through. Remember that you were given this opportunity for a reason. Happy and dark. Thank you so much, G. Gusto mo sa mga player mo. Skit Jimenez drains one from way out with the defense right there in his grill. Rick Santos. Oh, AC Marquez couldn't handle the pass. Marilao, this could be a jam. Yes, semi-jam for Danny Marilao. You guys are definitely wrong. Osikos has it minutes in this game and he still won't. Nine out of nine. Para dito kay Ken Osikos. Sanga answers back. Specialty of the house. That's a three pointer. Tofi Santos bounces it off. Marquez. Osikos. <laughs> I'm running out of words here. That's 10 out of 10 from the field. Yeah, but he's definitely putting in the work here on the basketball court. Sanga, this time from the other side, no difference. Dada throws the ball away. Jimenez from way out and no problem. Para kay Kit Jimenez. Another logo shot from Kit Jimenez. That's way off, rebound Jimenez. Up ahead, Marila, one man to beat, leaves it. The Tor will score. Marlon Espiritu. Jimenez, and off Jimenez. Another far three. No problem para Kit Jimenez. Is it safe to say that Kit Jimenez might just be the Steph Curry? If I'm in Dora, I'm just trying to get the ball to Ken Osikos as much as possible. Well, they'll take that. That's a three-pointer by Espiritu, but they fail to get down and stop Jordan Santana. But AC Marquez trying to battle him for it. Jimenez for three. That's good. Napaganda pa. Oh, oh. Sobra pala. Multiplier pala. <laughs> As that three-pointer on the left flank, and Sarangani has another chance here to save. Goes to the other side, Romero. Tap from behind by Kiminales. The pitch ahead, Gumaru is all alone, and he will score. Actually quadruple double. He has a lot of steals too. Here he is at the line, Tosikit Jimenez. Jimenez couldn't get the second one to drop that thing in the first half. Romero trying to force the issue, but that's going to be a foul. Romero is at the line. Gets the first. That is Rans Romero's first trip. 27 points ang inihabol dito ng Tamps. Gets that second one to drop. Jimenez, step back. That's off to the right. That's a steal. The tap to Hamora. Short on the three-point try. Yeah, he really got hot there. And you can see his stats. He's doing everything. Other I mean, he's scoring a lot, but he's playing good defense. He's getting his teammates involved. Play from Kit Jimenez. 60% from three-point country. It was Kit Jimenez. And aside from those seven songs, si Kit Jimenez. So triple-double watch ang abangan natin dito. And he is with Gianna Lianes at Jimenez, another three on the way. That's good. Harakai Kit Jimenez, seventh three pointer of the game. Deliver a good game for those people who are watching him for the first time live. Yeah, the showman's. And uh, it's a pity that they don't really get that much credit. It's a thankless job, actually, if you come to. Almost traveled. Attacks Gumaru, but Sistoza is there to swat that shot away. 26 points away from scoring a hundred that there's that block by Sistoza. Effort every time. Get from way out again. <laughs> and that is another three pointer pointer from Kit Jimenez range. In and out lamang sa dun. There's a specialist from downtown Paul Sama. All his three pointers coming from the corners in shooting. 13 three pointers in this game for Sarangani. Drake Santos answers back. 
And Sarangani back quickly again the other way. And for the Sarangani Marlins, Drake Santos hitting one from downtown. Jimenez, the pitch ahead. Santa Ana will finish. Touchdown. Just like that. Three rebounds away from a quadruple double. My goodness. Santa Ana gets a steal of his own, leaves it for Sanga, runs the floor and finishes. 31-0, Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards. Marilao running the break. Sanga will attempt another one and that's good. It seems that uh, they will never stop in this game. They will keep going and they will keep scoring. And what do you think is going through the minds of Mindoro right now, being down by so much against uh, obviously much more deeper team? Our season here, we have two more game dates before we enter our postseason. That's a three-pointer. A rare one para kay Haley Ahero. That's 13 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Santa Ana tries to make space. Sanga is wide open. That's another trifecta para kay Paul Sanga. In sync. Tira na sa labas ang nangyayari dito para John Cowell still fields him in into this fourth quarter. 99-61 to 61 will be back. Mindoro has AC Marquez, Ken Osikos. Christian Palma and Marlon Espiro, Espiritu rather. Espiritu cross court. Ahero puts the ball on the deck. Pinoy step inside is good. Jimenez assist. Oh, Santa Ana could not finish, but Marilao will be there. It's Santa Ana really apologizing to Kit Jimenez. Palma, only second bucket of the game. Remember? Remember, before this match, we were anticipating the matchup between two former players here. Stamping his class, and that is why he has been named. Gumaru will take it from three against the outstretched arms of Elia Hero. That's no problem. Points in a game. I think that was in the Tionglian Basketball League when he was still playing for Saber. 103 points for Jeron Teng. That pass was not from Kit Jimenez, but that was from Jordan Santa Ana, Paul Sanga, and then leaving it for Danny Marilao, who get. And the team who leads that department is the Nueva Ecija Rice Vanguards, 28.1. There's a steal. And there Sarangani. Go. That's a triple double for Kit Jimenez. Kit Jimenez. Another rebound. Here he is trying to add on to his point total. And there's a rebound. Does that count as a rebound? That sure is. And that is a three-pointer para kay Paul Sanga. Yes, okay, great. wait. I'm sorry. Already with a quadruple double. Ito si Kit Jimenez. So that's 33 points, 11 rebounds, 10 assists, and 10 steals. So aside from being the second player, I don't think that's just for MPBL history. I think in Philippine basketball, I mean, when was the last time you heard? MPBL history, it might be even Philippine basketball history to achieve a quadruple double. 33 points, 12 rebounds, 11 assists, and 11 steals for Kit Jimenez. Check that, that's 13 rebounds. Para kay Kit Jimenez as Santiago scores on another basket by Sarangani Marlins. That same guy that I just mentioned, Kit Jimenez, the only guy with a quadruple double in MPBL history and even might be Philippine basketball history. Again, 33 points, 13 rebounds, 11 assists, and 11 steals. Check for most points scored here. San Juan held the previous record. Gonna have to double check what that total was. And Sarangani continues to add to their score here. They're now up to 124. Making the most out of this game. Mindoro has 29 turnovers in this game. And they're giving up. Gets it to Asikos trying to barrel his way inside. There's gonna be a foul called. I mean, Mindoro started well, but as you know, Sarangani is such a good team to let Mindoro. 
they played with pride, they, they played for their coach, they played really well. The floor of the excellence on October 13, that's this coming Thursday. We also have games tomorrow. But siempre, abangan pa rin natin ang huling game ng ating. Kit Jimenez, obviously, is our player of the game. Quadruple double, 33 points, 13 rebounds, 11 assists, and 11 steals. This player of the game is brought to you by OKBet, the official partner of the MBBL with OKBet on the win. Christoph Kit Jimenez, the only player or maybe one of the only few players to achieve a quadruple double in Philippine basketball history, aiding his team to a 120. Ngayon naman, anong nasa isip mo to be the first player ever in the MPBL to achieve a quadruple double? Ah, uh, syempre una, nagpapasalamat ako kay God kasi ako basta naglalaro lang ako, ina-enjoy ko lang yung game, yung kalaro namin, yung mga nanonood. Basta ibigay ko yung best ko kung anong meron skills na meron ako, anong meron talent ako na binigay ni Lord. Uh, papakita ko sa buong tao para ma-appreciate nila yung pagpunta nila dito.